Hello, Renee Flamont here. You guys, I get asked this question a lot. How did you break away? You look so happy. What did you go through? How did you, okay. Well, I've been talking about it for two and a half years on this channel and I've made videos on this before, but I wanted to um, talk about this today because I was asked recently again. If you guys recall, I began this channel because I had learned a ton and wanted to share. A lot of that ton that I learned was how to break away. It's really about finally knowing that there was no way on earth that I was going to be with him for good. I looked at that. I looked at that. And I knew that because I accepted, which we talked about a lot in the last few weeks, I accepted the truth in front of me about him. That's a huge, huge step in turning the corner. I accepted the truth. There was no, ooh, but maybe he, mm -mm. no, the truth, the truth. And I said, I mean, his truth is just ugly. And once that happened, the question became, do I want to be having the thought later down the road of, I should have left sooner. Do I want to be having that sentence with myself in five years, in 10 years or more? I knew I did not want to be kicking myself in the pants later because I didn't leave sooner, right? So I kept it within the two year on and off space, okay? Many linger on with these people hoping and waiting and praying and crying and begging and screaming. The other truth that I accepted was I don't want to live my life that way, hoping and praying and crying and begging and screaming and fighting. There is no way a relationship is that. There's no way. And if that's what a relationship is, because to a lot of us, that's normal. If you've been involved with this kind of person over and over again, feels like a comfortable suit. Oh, you want to argue? Okay, I'm game. I'll sit and argue for six hours. Not anymore, right? But it felt completely normal to me. Uh, why not? Fighting and yelling. Is good. That's not, that's not, that's not necessary for communication. I knew his truth was never going to change. And this is another question I get asked a lot when somebody's narcissist goes off and then they're with another person in private coaching and on this channel in the audience, I've had people say, well, I feel like he's off being happy with her now and treating her exactly like, you know, I wanted to be treated and it must be her then he changed and he loves her. Okay. That person, the old person, the ex is looking at the love bombing stage of their narcissist with a new person. Of course, you're going to look at it like he's changed and he's treating her. He did that the same to you in love bombing too. That's why you said yes to being in, his, in the relationship with them. Okay. I so know that his truth is never going to change. That I'm positive it still has not. I don't have any contact with him. It's been years. I don't have any way of knowing what his life is like specifically but I know what he is, I know who he is, and I know his truth, and I know what he's been like his whole life. No one will change him. No one will change yours. They don't suddenly, oh, it's, it's because they haven't met the right person, and they think, oh, but maybe she's the right person, and now he's happy. No, no, and no, okay? No one will change the narcissist. So I left and dealt. I decided I'm going to leave. It's going to be final. Put a period on it. And I said, okay. So I dealt with all the after effects that many of you are going through when you leave one of these relationships. And it's painful. And I'm still confused why, why it's painful. I'm still confused when I look back on my own departure from him, which I discarded him several times. You know, first landing doesn't stick. But every single departure was me. He never discarded me. I did the discarding. And it still confused why, because I look now, because I look back now, there's not one ounce of pain that I, that I feel. Not one ounce 
of dismay, nothing. I just thank God I left. And I accept the experience as a lesson what not to do in the future or what not to have done to me again. But it starts with you, and I, I always try to tell you guys things to help you turn a corner, and that's why I made so many videos on it in the last few weeks, every angle I could think of. It really does start with you accepting the truth of your partner. It really does. Because if you are not accepting the truth of your partner, then you will stay because you're still waiting for the truth to be what you want it to be for the situation to finally become what you hoped it would be. You may get the situation that you hope with someone else, but if that person's around in your life and you're not breaking away, then guess what? You're not gonna meet anybody if you're wrapped up in a narcissist because when we're wrapped up in a narcissist, our mind is 100% on the narcissist all the time. We're distracted if there's a fight. We're distracted if they're love bombing us. We're distracted if they've discarded us. We're distracted if we discarded them. Is he gonna call? Is he gonna text? Should I call him? Should I text? It's all one big distraction. In order to make room, I'm not telling you to leave. You guys know I don't do that. But in order to make room in my life, I knew, I'll just use my own, I knew that in order to make room for any goodness to come in, for any light to shine in, the darkness needed to be gone. You follow me? I knew that. There's no space in my life right now for anyone to come in. Now, did I discard him thinking I want someone? Else? No, I'm still not dating. I want to just take my time and really, really be strong. I'm very, I'm, I'm there now, but I'm not in a rush. I'm, I'm very happy in my life. And the truth, my truth is now that I will not accept that behavior again. God bless you, Minnie. She's here. She's just on the pillow over there. I will never not see the truth of a person again. If they show you who they are, be leave them. If they tell you who you are, believe them. But especially if they show you, because what do I always say? You have to see time and action to see, a, see someone's character. Within two weeks, like we talked about Monday, is not enough time for me to see your character. Nope, I'm sorry, it just isn't. It's just not. I don't know you in two weeks, no way. I could put up an act for two weeks and be a totally different person. But can you handle it for a year? Can you keep that up for a long time? I wanna know somebody's bones, tissue, fabric, brain. Who are their friends? How do they treat their family? What do they do for, for in, the, in the world for work? Is it honorable? Are they an honorable person? Do they pay their taxes? Do you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be funny. But all of those things, that takes time. That takes time. How you break away from the narcissist, the first step is accepting the truth in front of you and then realizing, you know what? I don't want that truth to be in my life. I no longer wanted that to be a part of my life. I don't want it. I don't wanna be treated like this ever again. And I broke away because I learned, I, I am so worth more than this. I have parents who love me, friends who love me, fam. You know what I'm saying? Like, that is not where Renee is going to be ever again. Now, do I regret being in those relationships? I really don't. I really don't. I accept things as lessons. I look at it as a positive that I finally did learn the lesson. And some people don't have to go through what we all go through to learn that lesson. Some people inherently know. Some people are stronger. Like I think of different things that that narcissist did to me. And I think of like, there's a couple of people on my mind right now, friends of mine that are women. And they're so strong. They would have looked at the guy like, <laughs> we're not even finishing this date. Bye bye. But what did I do? Overlooked it. You ignore the red flag. Because why? You, you had a self-value problem and you want, I did. I had a, you know, and I want, not self-value. I knew I was value, but I was coming off a bad relationship, felt a little kink in my armor, kind of downtrodden. So you're desperate to hear, oh, you're everything. You're so beautiful. You know, whatever they say to you for love bombing. And then you grab onto that. And then when they start to act different, you ignore it. Oh, I'm not going to listen to that. La, 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 la. And you remember the guy from Love Bombing. And so you don't break away. 
What you have to do is see the truth in front of you and then decide how you want to be treated. Is that good enough for you? It's not. I'm telling you the answer is it's not. If they're behaving, if they're mistreating you, it's not good enough for you. And if you are feeling down about yourself, I'm here to wake you up. Stop. Everybody deserves decency, compassion, not to be betrayed, loyalty. If somebody's telling you all these things and they feel this way for you in love bombing, if you had to write an essay on how somebody should treat you if they love you, would the way that that person's treating you be in that essay? I bet it wouldn't. I bet your essay would read the opposite of what your person is in front of you. And if you can get to the truth, you can break away. Okay? Please go ahead and hit sub, like, and share. I just spit. I just saw it come out. And I'll see you on Friday. Thanks for watching, you guys.